Well, a lot of things happen after a mob hit like the Castellano killing. The police investigate, the reporters report, and the families do whatever they have to do to bring the underworld back into balance. And then there's the less obvious results of a famous rub-up, like more business for the restaurants where they seem to happen so often. Steve Powers reports on our area's four slug restaurants. You know, the rule of the open road is you eat where you see a truck parked. But in the big cities, people like to eat in restaurants where there have been mob hits. Certainly, Umberto's is one of the most famous. It was here back in 1972 that Crazy Joe Gallo got punctuated while celebrating his 43rd birthday. Umberto's is now on the must-see list of the curious here in Little Italy. The thrill of eating where the mob dies goes way back. In the 30s, it was the Nuevo Villa Tomorrow in Coney Island where Joe the Boss died. Dutch Schultz made the Palace Chop House and Tavern in Newark famous. And now it's Sparks Steakhouse. Tonight, police handing out leaflets asking for information about the three hitmen who killed Paul Castellano. Tonight, the curious were trying to find the spot where it happened. Most restaurants in the city depend on write-ups, recommendations, and reviews to attract customers. So in a world impressed by mob hits, Sparks is now number one with a bullet. And the hits keep coming. Steve Powers, Channel 5 News.